Hey guys, welcome back to Red Devil TV. Burnley won, Man United won. A game of where I just felt I was watching Middlesbrough again. And i got to be honest, I felt like throughout Middlesbrough, we created chances throughout the whole game. And within this Burnley game, we came into this game knowing we just beat them 3-1 a couple of weeks ago. And I don't know how a mentality can just shift like that. And I know it's been a regular talking point this season that every time we concede a goal after we've been dominating or... Doesn't matter the circumstance. As soon as we can see the goal, our heads drop. And that's what happened this game. Look at the whole game. Look at the first half. Look at the connection between Bruno, Sancho. Sancho and Luke Shaw had a fantastic partnership in that first half, I would say. I think they were linking up fantastically. Luke Shaw was putting some good balls uh, in the box. Um, going forward, being dangerous going forward, Luke Shaw was. I thought the low at times in the game looked very good as well. Um, his control on the ball, magnificent. Um, his crosses needs work. Uh, he puts in crosses on the wrong time, and even when he puts them in, they're not they're not good cr crosses anyway. So even if it was the right time, they're not good enough. So, um, and I've seen the low a lot of times, even in the national team and earlier on this season. He put in some good crosses in the box, and I don't know what's happened. I I, I don't know if it's a confidence thing or whatever, but he's overthinking it, and he he needs to whip in a good cross. And, and I think crosses are still going to be a regular talking point. For the rest of the season. I mean, we're not putting in enough of them. And they're not quality ones as well. Even Luke Shaw, the second half, he's putting some terrible corners in. I mean, what? They're too high. No one's going to get onto it. Um, and look, I, that, the one situation we'd, we did create something was when Varane scored the offside goal. Which, for me, how is, how is that an offside? Maguire does not get touched at the ball. It's not, it's not an obstruction either. Um, come on, it's really soft, honestly. The game... The, is it, it happened to Cavani as well earlier on this season. That, that obstruction thing or whatever. But... Regardless if, if they're saying it was an offside or it was an obstruction from Maguire, it's a goal, man. It's a goal. And it should have stand, but we can't rely on referees to always give it our way because it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. And, guys, in terms of... Let's talk about the game. Let's talk about it. I thought... I thought again, I thought Rashford looked better in this game. You saw him do some fantastic movements inside the box where he got in good positions to pass the ball. But instead of passing the ball, he would shoot. And I think what Rashford is doing, regardless if he's on the right or on the left, he's putting... He's, getting himself in good positions to go past the player, um, show his skill using his feet. I mean, the control he had on the ball yesterday was was great. Rashford, a lot of the times, he got himself in good positions. And even on the right, you would expect him to put some more crosses in, past the ball. Um, but he doesn't. He still shoots from ridiculous angles. Well, okay, you might get it in. You know, maybe the goalkeeper will have a shocker and put it in. But Pope, I mean, Pope had a magnificent save for Cavani's header where it hit his knee. You know, people were saying that. Cavani should have done better. They should have went higher with the header. But for me, look, he, he done what he could have done. You know, Cavani, he, he he wasn't in the game, man. And this is the thing. Like, a lot of people think that the team is better with Cavani in it. And I'm thinking, OK, he's more of a team player in the sense of, you know, he's going to he's gonna track back more. He is definitely going to get more involved with the work off the ball. And he's going to sprint a lot more. But yesterday, what I saw from Cavani, he wasn't chasing as much. Um, he wasn't look. What I see is is a lot of selfishness in the attack, and I I feel sorry for Cavani sometimes. And we saw it with Ronaldo earlier on this season. Rashford, Greenwood, when they were playing together, you never saw much of of anything get towards Ronaldo in the box. And even though Sancho's more of a creative player, on the left, Sancho seems to be more of a player who's going to skill pass the play. He is going to cut in sometimes, but he is going to look for the pass. Sometimes he will look for the shot. But he is going to cut in. He is going to skill past the player. There's not much of that cross threat. threat, But he is going to look for the pass. Rashford on the right. He tends to pass more. But he doesn't cross enough. And he still looks for the shot. We need a good balance. And I, I still want to see Sancho on the right. Even though he's been playing good on the left. And if I'm completely honest. I would bring Alanga back in on the left for Southampton on Saturday. I honestly would. I would put in Alanga on the left. Put Sancho on the right. Let Sancho and Delo build that partnership. I think the reason a lot of the time with Delo is not very consistent in the game. Throughout one game. 90 minute game. Is because that connection between Rashford and Delo is not great. A lot of the time Delo. He goes for the overlap. Rashford doesn't pass him. Or sometimes he doesn't go. Because Rashford puts, goes for a run. Tries to go one or two, pass one or two plays. He even loses the ball. Or he gets himself in a good position. He tries to shoot. And, you know, the importance of keeping the ball is, I mean, I, ca I can't say it enough. I mean, I feel like in the first half yesterday, we were playing great as a team. You saw the connection between Bruno and Pogba, Sancho and Luke Shaw. Delo had a great moment where he, he was very skillful, got past a few uh, Burnley defenders in. Uh, he looked dangerous, man. Delo's control on the ball, I mean, wan could never. I mean, honestly, I like wan -Bissaka. I think he's better defensively than Delo, but Delo needs to work on his crossing. 
Um, and he's just better. I think Delo, De honestly, I think he's just better going forward. He's got better control on the ball. He's more of an attacking threat. Um, he's got a good shot on him. I've said it several times. I'm not going to repeat myself, but it is what it is, isn't it? Um, but um, in terms of the game, look, honestly, Cavani wasn't there. Sancho had a good game. Honestly, Sancho was man of the match for me. And that game, there's clearly a mentality issue. Honestly, the way Burnley, Maguire, I mean, Maguire... I don't know what Maguire's good at. Honestly, I don't. You know, we all talk about how good he is at headering the ball. Fair enough, our set pieces and crosses haven't been great this season. But Maguire, I mean, when was the last time Maguire scored a header for Man United? Honestly, it was a shame when yesterday we scored a set piece and Varane, just didn't, the goal didn't get given to him. And honestly, I felt sorry for Varane. But honestly, how many times is Varane going to have to protect Maguire from getting spun? Honestly, it happened a few times yesterday when Burnley came out in the second half and they just looked better in that second half. We didn't do anything from the 45th minute. Nothing. We looked good for the first 40 minutes of the game. We looked in control. We looked very, very comfortable. We didn't tear them apart, but we looked comfortable. Um, Burnley didn't have any threat. Didn't have a shot on goal um, in the first half. And I thought, this is going to be an easy game. I see, I see us scoring a couple more, you know. Um, as soon as the second half started, you saw the mentality drop. I mean, how many times did Burnley... They had a good few opportunities in that, in that second half. I mean, they didn't have loads, but they had enough to punish us. Uh, De Gea made a, a world-class save from a volley uh, from the Burnley striker. And... Look, the way Rodriguez just went past, Mag went past Maguire for that goal. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, I don't know what Maguire's good at. I don't know what he's good at, honestly. He's slow. He's not good on the ball. Um, he's suspect when he's on the ball. I mean, when I look at him on the ball, I think he's going he's gonna to lose it. You know what I mean? And I want to I, I would love to see Bailly back. I, I want to see the Lindelof back. I honestly think Lind Lindelof is better than Maguire. Lindelof, Varane, better partnership there. Lindelof is going to look for those, for those balls, balls over the top. Maguire... I mean, how many times yesterday did Maguire put a pass in and he goes out? And same with Scott McTominay. I mean, McTominay wasn't great. I want to say he was terrible in the first. I thought it was okay. He was definitely looking to get the ball forward. But the second half, I mean, God, it happened in the Middles Middlesbrough game as well. McTominay was decent in the first half. And then the second half, I mean, I know it was the whole team, but McTominay's not a CDM. He doesn't have that control in the midfield. He's not He's not the player to... I mean, he, sometimes you... You hardly recognise he's there. And with a sense of defensive midfielder, a good one, you, you always recognise them. You always recognise them because they're in control of the ball. They get the ball forward. They slow down the game according to how they think the game should 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 be in that moment. And, and McTominay just doesn't get involved enough. And, um, you know, we don't have anyone else for, the, for that position unless you put Matic. Um, Pogba's looking good, though. I felt like Pogba in the first half looked good. This, I mean, this is just a frustrating result. Arsenal, Tottenham have games in hand. They could go above us. I think Wolves as well, they're 8th at the moment. They can get above us if they win their games in hand. And we're not getting top four. I've said it the last couple of weeks now. We're not getting top four. And um, look, Burnley won one. We beat them 3-1 last time. And I, I didn't think that McTominay was going to have the same impact he had in the, in the other game. Because in the other game, he was playing more of a box-to-box -box with matches as a CDM. This game, he was, he was a CDM. Barely, barely noticed him. Um... When he came off, when Lingard came on, you saw Lingard and Bruno play together more in that in that eight role. And you saw um, Pogba going to the number six, which you barely noticed Pogba as well. And uh, you need to play players in their natural positions. Honestly, I said in the, in the preview for this game, Pogba and Bruno, it would be good, nice to see Pogba go more into that attacking role and put Bruno slightly behind Pogba and then play McTominay or, or Matic. Um, but I don't want to see Pogba in the number six. You barely notice him, I think. Pogba is so effective with his passing and his control on the ball is, is fantastic. I mean, we've got, we've got ballers in our team. When I was watching yesterday the game, especially in the first half, Sancho's control on the ball, his skill, Pogba the same, his control, his strength on the ball is fantastic. And even with the load, there, were time, there was a time where he, just, he roasted Burnley's defence and he should have done a bit better in that final third where he could have passed it and kind of almost lost control of the ball. But... We have ballers in our team, man. Even when Ronaldo came on, you know, he missed a good two head headers. Where it wasn't easy ones, we expect him to do better, maybe hit the target. Um, but his body language when he came on, he ran off the pitch straight away as soon as the game ended. And he probably wasn't happy that he got dropped. I wouldn't put Cavani back in. I think he, people can say he's a, he's, a, he's a better team player than Ronaldo, but you need a clinical striker where you can you can put in those crosses there. And, and I know Cavani is a good header of the, header of the ball, but... I don't know, like, it, I know that Cavani, even last season when he played a lot of the games, you did see more of a team um, team effort. You saw more of a, of a connection between players. And I think we still had that even in Middlesbrough when Ronaldo played. You saw that in games this season where the team still played well with Ronaldo there. 
Um, I just think there needs, that, that attack is, is probably our weakest point right now in terms of not the players, not the quality, but the connection and the chemistry between the players. You need to play as a team. And I think Sancho there is vital. I don't want to see... Um, I don't want to see any player who's going to be selfish. You know, I know we can't talk about Greenwood right now. He's not back. We don't know what's happening with him. But he shouldn't have been there anyway, Greenwood. He's too selfish. He, he, even with Rashford, honestly, on the right, he doesn't put enough crosses in. He doesn't. And he's too selfish. He's shooting from unbelievable angles. I mean, how many times yesterday did, did he do that? And I know he played better yesterday. He saw more of his... Uh, he was definitely more of a team player yesterday, Rashford. But I still think he's... I think Rashford wants to be a striker, honestly. When I see him in the final third, I think he wants to be a striker. Sancho, you do see Sancho go past the player, but like I mentioned, he always looks for the pass. He doesn't look to shoot all the time, and that's the difference. When you go past the player, when you're in the box, it's decision-making, and Rashford's decision-making is not good at all. And um, guys, I don't know what to say. I'm, uh, it was an upsetting result. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm upset from that result. So guys, let me know what you think. Southampton on Saturday, we're not getting top four in my opinion. We've got games coming up, which we need to win. Burnley, a 1-1 draw to Burnley, honestly. Let me know what you think. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later.